Okay, so this is the new Mazda MX-5 in which we've got a tiny, tiny amount of time. So I hope you can hear me. I hope this is uh, hope it's okay. Because this car is pretty significant. It's, it's all new, fourth generation MX-5, on the 25th anniversary of the MX-5 actually. And Mazda's designers and engineers say that it is that first generation car that is the inspiration for this one. As cars over the last quarter century have got a bit heavier, a bit stodgier, this one is kind of back to basics. They haven't released full quotes for performance figures and power figures and everything else yet because, as you might be able to see from some of the plastics, production is still six months off. But there is a number I want you to remember, 1,000 kilograms. And that, a tonne, is what they hope the curb weight will be of this entry-level car. Now Mazda's guys say that this entry-level car is the purest version of the MX-5, which is why they want us to try this one. You can get an auto, you can get a larger engine with more power, but this is the 1.5, 130 horsepower with a six-speed manual gearbox and a limited slip differential. Now, limited slip differential is usually a very, very good thing because it stops the rear wheel spinning at completely separate speeds. It stops an inside rear wheel spinning up in a corner. But do you really need one on a car with 130 horsepower? Well, we'll find out. So what's it like? Um, compact on the outside. This is the smallest MX-5 ever. Interior needs a, needs a bit of finishing, but I think actually it will feel pretty nice when it's, when it's done. And in general driving, it's a remarkably pleasant thing. The steering's only two and a half turns lock to lock. The ride, because it's on 16 inch wheels, is pretty good. The gearbox is really terrific, actually. It's got a lovely, short, crisp throw. Actually, a bit like the original cars and better than the Mark III and the Mark II, certainly. And the engine itself, well, it's, it's, it's willing, I think is the best word for it. It revs to seven and a half. And if you want this car to go anything like fast, you will need to use all of it. It probably is the purest form of MX-5 from that, from that point of view. It steers really pleasingly. It's electrically assisted now rather than hydraulic, but, but, it's, but it's really lovely. It's really, really accurate and crisp, like the, like the gear shift and everything else. This is an agile, easy, pleasant car to get along with. If you're looking for mid-corner thrills, where you shut the throttle and something happens or you get back on the power and something happens, I think you'll probably want the faster uh, version than this. I think I probably would want the faster version than this. But in general, everyday country road driving, this is a remarkably pleasant thing. Um, what I'm really looking forward to is getting it back on the UK with a lot more time to exploit the handling and to try a quicker one as well.